We have our first tour of the day. Let's go. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, make it overdose. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, 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 more. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, make it overdose. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, 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 more. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, make it overdose. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, 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 more. Guys, welcome back. We are here in the house. Just made loads of freaking fruit. We got papayas, mangoes, freaking peaches, apples, bananas, cantaloupe, honeydew, melon, you name it. We are making it. Now today, a little special treat. We have our boy, Tupac. I have set him up right, oh, sorry. <laughs> a little bit uh green up in here these days i've been uh, getting my plants right and stuff this is my room no stranger you guys my room you guys have been here before the cool thing is mr tupac is right outside of my window here he comes come on he's over there getting some sun the sun rises over there and then midday and goes on this side so He's spending some time warming that beak up, getting that body temperature right. And uh, he knows there's a uh, breakfast is to be served. Come on, kid. Oh, Come on, Tupac. I got breakfast for you. I know you see it. Woo! Are you hungry? Gonna catch this one? Oh, oh you got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> you like that one? Good job. Dude, I'm sucking this morning. I'm over here just throwing food at you. You're not even catching it. Ready? Oh, man. What is up, kid? Okay. You want some of this? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to keep on going. We'll come back and check on this guy later. Do some training with him with some blueberries. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll see you guys in a sec. Well, while toucans are probably not the best morning <laughs> birds, uh, I think, uh, Kiwi, what are you doing over there? This is Kiwi's house. Kiwi's got a whole new upgrade. I know, I know, I got breakfast. You ready to eat? Huh? Come on. Let's go, let's do this thing, thing, girl. Kiwi's. Polar opposite of uh, our boy Tupac. She um, so sweet. I'm not saying Tupac's not sweet. He's just uh, he's still warming up to us. On the other hand, Kiwi is the best. You didn't say good morning. Yeah. You didn't say good morning. Say hi to everybody. Okay, look, breakfast is served. Woo! So I got some of your favorite here, okay? We got blueberries, <laughs> we got apples, peaches, honeydew, papaya, and pears. You want blueberry? Get your day started? Yeah? What do you think? Or you want papaya? What do you think? We got all these options here. You can choose whatever you want. I'll be back later on and check on you, okay? You enjoy your morning. All right, guys, so now it is uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and we have our first tour of the day. Let's go. Here we got the OG breakfast crew. Excuse me, pardon me. Hello, back up. I got food. Come on, guys, you guys come in. They're gonna chase you with that bucket, so when you get in, just run that way. <laughs> there you go. Hi. Hi, <laughs> so we got baby doll sheep, regular sheep, uh, little dwarf goats, Nubian goats, moon goats, all these freaking pigs. Everybody here has been basically raised from like literally a newborn baby. Aww. That's awesome. So they're super social animals. A little breakfast time, and then we'll head over to see the big guys. All right, baby animals are done. Now we're back to the top. Let's get to have breakfast up there. Come 
a year ago and this whole place was just dirt. Eventually we'll have Airbnbs right here on this little ledge. Oh wow. And you'll be able to uh, feed your ass off your balcony like you would in Africa. That's so awesome. that would be a, a good addition to there. And then you'll be able to walk out your front door right into a giant aviary. Wow. You know, so th that's the idea of the wild jungle here. Wow. Oh, mountain better be Take this bucket in her face. She'll Maybe take like I... 15 scoops at once. Take the bucket too. <laughs> yeah, in the bucket. So you can probably just put the bucket away and oh there you go. Goodness. They won't really bite you. This guy will try to nip you, but he ain't gonna hurt you. All the hair's growing back too. If you guys remember, when we washed our camels a few a few weeks ago, they had shedded their winter coats and they looked naked, almost bald. And now, look, they're getting fluffy again. Oh my naked. goodness. It's so good. Just come underneath if you want. I'll just slide through. Pictures. Oh, my <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that. These are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's my finger. That's not sweet. <laughs> there we go. Cool. visit us you can come walk Zorro and this big zebra habitat he's been teaching these zebras to be a whole lot nicer to us yeah they were field babies so oh, okay. they were waiting for their moms in the field and then as they got older they've been here for a whole year so they've been real distant yeah they put these guys in here with the camel first and then the camel chased them around oh, man. and they were like over there camels were over here and then we brought Zorro in um, everybody lived separately yeah and then once we brought Zorro in they kind of like hung out with Zorro okay and they saw how Zorro was close with us and we became like overnight yeah they were just like our friends That's they're still awesome. a little distant as you can see yeah but uh yesterday they were like closest to me and you as oh. i was feeding i was like oh hey guys what's up <laughs> oh, That's sick. <laughs> these are our buffaloes lulu and buffalo bill <laughs> what's up babies we'll go see them in a second we'll go inside the other way Give them some food and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> gotta get big, man. Good day. What's up, pal? Can you come hang out with us? He has this days where he's like, since you got him a girlfriend, he's been, they've been hanging out. A sweet guy. Hi, bud. Uh, Hi. Reminds me of Blue. Uh, yeah. From yeah. Jurassic Park. <laughs> Hello. Especially the, the legs and yeah. feet. If you're gonna come over here with me, you can probably pet him. He's having a, a swell this morning, so just pet him. You can you can scratch his head. Not many uh, evenings of this friendly, <laughs> you know. But he's a he's a real good boy. Good healthy boy. Hi, Bubba. Okay. These young ones right here. So uh, now that this guy is so friendly and they see him as an alpha, yeah, they'll pick up on these characteristics. Oh, these guys are friendly. So okay. So whereas when we had them separate, yeah, they want nothing to do with us. But it's always cool to see a cute animal. See, just see how he's showing his dominance. Yeah. But they also pick up on, you know, he's he's being good. He wants to kick them. <laughs> All right. What's up, brother? Coming through. Ah. I have some in this one. He's coming. He's really sweet. He really wants to be touched much, but he'll definitely get under your hand, though. That's a potato. We got a little baby back there, fresh, fresh out the quarantine area, and with the rest of the crew. Sweetheart, it's nice and cold. Yes, yes, my love. Yes, we did it. Oh, yay, baby. Oh, my sweetheart. I got water. It's gonna be a 
hot day all day today. Come on, my love. That's my present. Thank you. You're wondering about the wild jungle and your awesome. I mean, talk about camel selfies, walking dorses, hanging out with ostriches, washing water buffaloes. That's just like a quarter of the day. We still have snake baths, lizard feedings, you name it. We're gonna we gotta go hang out with the big zebras and go hand feed them. We just got done making two can breakfast. Come on, man. The goods just keep going on and on and on. Book your tour. 100 bucks. Do that. Never thought I'd ever do it. <laughs> A lot of firsts today. Woo! Scottish Highland Cattle. Other two babies just because yeah, he is they, alone. So there's uh, seven to eight different species of zebra um, back in the day. Now it's only three. three. So uh, they're all different. This is a plain zebra, then you got a mountain zebra, and then you got an emperor zebra. Okay. So it's not ideal across different subspecies, you know. And this, yeah, this little one is uh, her mom is the one right there. That's looking nice with the, with the okay. mullet. Right yeah. Mullet mama. Is this one uh, born here? Yep.
time. I told her she had to do it. She can't leave. I'm not taking her home. She doesn't hold the snake. This is straight to the top of the food chain, you know? Go big or go home. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little. No, no, it's too close. Let her be. Front portion. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, then I'll let her go off of me. Oh. If she wants to. Oh my god. She wrapped she around me. Really. She kept me too. You're good. Oh. Now you gotta do it over your neck. Ready? No, no, yeah. Do it. Do it. Do what? She's not gonna do anything. There you go. Oh my goodness. There you go. I'll keep going over this one. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> you proud? Yes, I am. Very proud. Kept the secret for a week. <laughs> Good secret. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought we were probably gonna go to San like Diego the, Zoo. Yeah, the safari park or well, something. Way better. Way better. Love it. Everyone needs to come visit. All right, guys. So you guys saw their breakfast this morning, and now I got a little lunchtime snack. This is actually my first time uh, feeding these guys oh, some yum, yum. super worms. So come on in, oh, and uh, we'll have some fun with these two guns. Hola, mi amor. ¿Cómo estás? Laura, show them your bracelet. Your what? Show them your bracelet. Ah. Catch it. Catch it. Yeah. Tengo una for sure. Ah, close them up. Ah, so tiny. I can catch it. Okay. It's a little protein snack, huh? I think somebody likes it. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. You notice he ate this one a little different than he does his fruit. He put it all the way the length of his beak, smashed it, made sure it was dead, and then he ate it. You want another? Yeah? Try and throw it up. Right. Eso. <laughs> now he has his fruit. He has a, a combination of honeydew melon, mango, papaya, a pear, a peach, um, lots of blueberries, and uh, some apples. And uh, to top it off with a little protein snack, he is getting some super worms. And if you haven't noticed, he's just eating that whole thing all the way, oh probably just crushing it. And uh, yeah, man. So now we're gonna do a little bit of training where he knows now where we hit the wood, he's gonna be rewarded with food. If you do the table first, so come to the table. Got it, Papa. Boy. Good job. You did it. Ready? It's all. Good boy. How do you like it? I got more. He is full on smashing that super world. Good boy. So he's got rewarded for going to the first branch. He's got rewarded for coming on the table. I'm gonna come this way now. Come on. I got more. Come on. Come on. Here we go. 
Our cat is definitely not having okay, a good so day. <laughs> we'll show you guys the cat after we leave the toucan in habitat. We did his habitat as well too, so he's ready. Hi, right, buddy. Hello. Good boy. He's such a good boy. I got two more left. Now he hasn't made the jump yet to this one because I've been kind of sort of blocking his uh, his view. But every time I move this thing, I have rocks in the bottom. I don't want him to eat the rocks. So we're gonna try to see if he wants to go on top of his swing yet. He hasn't got that far yet. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Take my ring and bend it out of the room. This levels, so he has completed um, one, two, three, four levels already. This is level five. That's the highest level he'll get to. Um, I have a guy bringing me some bigger pieces of wood, so I'll make another level here. So I did a jump here, jump here, jump up there, jump over there. And all I'm doing is working his muscles out. You know, he's hopping, he's jumping. And, uh, eventually, soon he'll be flying from perch to perch to perch to perch to perch. Take it. I'm gonna jump down. Go. This way. Alright guys, so you've seen our final product, 95% final product in our toucan habitat. Now Laura's going to show you guys her startup project with our Bengal cat. Show us the way, honey. Come here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's walk him. Here is Olga Fernando. Bye. Meow. Meow. So this is a big like cage Michael built for the cat. Come, come Papa. This is you. This is all you. Now okay. Michael started to film the start to make all this cage for Onka Fernando because Onka Fernando it's uh, my baby Bengal but he is like really jealous so I think because he has no chuggy he wanna make pee all around home. So we try to make this like we not finished. We wanna take this door and this door out and make here inside like a place for toys and raining place. But we just waiting for all the toys coming. But for now we have our baby and this is our garden being cake. Just because this good boy know how to open all doors, 
So Michael tried to make this super difficult for him. But he can't so Basically, we, we fully enclosed the whole backyard. There's a netting on top, if you guys look up. Can't get out on top, can't get out on the sides. Uh, double door entry and all of my doors in my house because this guy jumped up, and opened my door latch and let himself and the dog outside. He was across the street going for like 12 hours, he was freaked out. I had a whole squat team uh, searching for him and we found him. And they did it again after that. I'm like, you know what? Never again we get out. So we enclosed our entire property where he lives at. He's so smart so he can open everything. And he now all the time are in the top for the green cage and just like looking around. Go. And here we got my Joker Bird. So yeah, he has his own little area back there. He has food, water, his little green grass areas. He goes back out there and goes poop and pee. And then for the most part, he's inside the house. Look, he's gonna jump soon. So we have a, uh, an extra cage. Look. Yep. Woo. Huh. Oh, my baby oh, boy. Oh, my baby boy. Uncle Fernando is a really interesting cat. Lots of cats. He he normally loves me because I'm raise him and teach him everything and give him love. But now he just living with Michael and he's like, you know what? I don't care about you because my daddy let me do everything I want. So sometimes when the cats like jump in her closet or pee on some of her stuff, of course you discipline your animals. Sometimes you spank their butt or something. But I just say Uncle Fernando and Michael is like, don't jello my cat. You can't even yell at my cat. So for that reason, he's so spoiled. He always do everything Michael wants. So when mommy's mad, they run to me and say, Daddy, protect me. Help yeah, me. And I all do the time. Every single time. They also pee on all my stuff, so. He, my cat, never, ever pee in my apartment. Because you know what? <laughs> but now this guy can do everything he wants to. One day, Michael called me and said, oh, well, all my house have pee. And I'm like, okay, need, you need to say no. He said, no, no, it's fine. I'm going to make one cage outside for him. Just, he can't pee around over there. I'm like, Michael, but you need to teach your cat to make pee. And you're thinking, no, no, it's okay. He's a good boy. He don't do anything wrong. What's my fault for love him alone? I'm like, okay, Michael, whatever. Yeah, every single night we sleep together. And uh, I left for a few a few weeks. And he got mad and peed in all my window seals and peed in all my plants. <laughs> he peed on my sink, on my stove, he peed everywhere. And I'm like, you know what? I love you so much, but yeah. you're going outside. <laughs> <laughs> so he got kicked out. It's not a bad place to be kicked out into, you know? He does come inside often when it was too cold outside. He um, have a little bed. A little house down there. Um, but like I said, eventually we're going to take these doors off and this will be his cat house. Now um, he I have just already here. built in the actual heat system because I have lizards in there over the winter time but there's a heat system inside of there we'll put a little cat house we'll put that inside of there as well too oh some little scratching post so he'll be able to have a full-on actually him and Shuggy will live inside there during some of the days it's too hot for him to be all the way outside all the time Shuggy needs some you know some shade so he goes in inside out the house but yeah this is our cat <laughs> let's go check on our other kid well this is our living room, and this is our dog, because two good girls are so big. And we just like made uh, this wall. Wood? How can I? Wall? How the name for that? Wall. Wall. Ah, uh, like fake rocks and some decoration for be like natural. There is the wall for all the masks Michael find around the world. Super interesting. He have this new one. He just like find this an animal called Miami, Florida, and he bring this in the airplane. Yeah, my life. Um, we have also two all our plants. Michael, take care of these plants. This plant is growing perfectly. That one is growing perfect. And that's it. We have. My colito. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Show me bullet pythons. 
Ah. Okay, I'm, I'm Cleo. Take her out. Okay. Now, this Bring is outside of the sun. This is our bed, like bedroom. Uh, look super Michael, but soon they're gonna change because Michael finally let me do my thing. So I buy a bunch of stuff, pink and stuff, and it's coming. Uh, this is our I Cleo. Cleo is so beautiful. I think that one is Cleo. Let me see. Hi. What happened, Mama? We have her, I think, like two years and something with us. She's really nice. And she's getting bigger. This is our Cleopatra. She looks gorgeous in the sun. You give She's not gonna eat my cat. So, I think she's about shed. But look. I don't know how to say that in, in English, but in Spanish it's like tornasol. Iridescence. Si. How is the name for the, for the color? Iridescence. Eso. Eso. Tornasol. So our girl has been eating rabbits now. She gonna chat soon, huh? Yeah, she's getting blue. Look, a little piece already from her. See? Look, she chin on me. <laughs> she poop on you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's poop. My life being your wife. What? Ah! Nice, Michael! <laughs> Bro, it's poop. It's already No, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Whee! <laughs> She got me. She got me. All right. Can you let me free? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go show you guys. Okay, no, he can't come closer. He's like, yeah, ah, he's like not a fan of snakes. It's on the eater. You know who we got to give up. Let's go see our two cans. I'll do one. Okay, now. My favorite part, I know, our home is our baby kiwi. She was like this big, okay? And she's so sweet. So I want to show you guys. Yeah, kiwi is kiwi is this big. Okay, Michael and I moved this big and high and plant. Just she can have like natural space and play. This is our kiwi. This big eating right now. I'm a kiwi. I'm a kiwi. Hello, mama girl. She's so beautiful and she's so sweet. She now have like papaya, blueberries, and some. What is that? Pineapple? No. What is that? Mango. Mango. They can't have any citrus. No tangerines. Man no uh, pineapples. No bueno. Apple. 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 Yeah, not pineapple. Sorry, apple. apple. My English is sorry. Laura's still learning uh, English. So um, she's uh, she speaks a uh, little bit of Portuguese, a little bit of English, full Spanish, and a little bit of French. Google Ale Juanci. Anyway, we rescued a plant. The people uh, believe you. You say I'm speak Korean, but French from where? You said a little things. You said something in French before. Dude, Italian. What are you saying, Italian? <laughs> I don't want to say it. Yeah, exactly. So two cans can have almost very, very, very low iron. So sometimes even you tap water, iron it, you know, can't have too much. Uh, grapes can't have any real fruits of iron. So I like to give these guys the purest of water. It's an expensive life, but you also have very, very, very highly expensive birds. And um, I want to be able to give them the best life possible, especially we're living in the same house. I wouldn't feed them nothing I wouldn't feed myself. Isn't that right, my kiwi? Yeah. 
Now come up and say, hey, come on. <laughs> give me your foot. Give me your little foot over there. Come on. Give me your foot. Yeah, give me the foot. Give me the foot. Yeah, you gave me the foot almost. Almost. You almost did it. You did it earlier. Yeah, you did it. You're doing it. <laughs> You're doing it. Oh. Oh, that's wow, even better. Wow, you fly. So Kiwi's been living uh, in this cage most of her life. And uh, every day she's been, we woke up this mo yesterday morning mm -hmm. and she was walking around walking. the floor. Day before that, she's uh, doing her thing. Um, I take this branch right here and uh, I stuck it inside of her habitat like this because at night she still goes back inside her house. I put a little blanket over her little house right there. And that's where she Actually, sleeps at. It's my blanket too. <laughs> I stole Laura's blanket. All right, I'm sorry. The blanket where Laura is sleeping now without tie. Listen, our kids come first, all right? Yeah, I want you to bring your blanket. I have one blue one over there. Honey, I came home and my freaking blanket was also with the baby caps. <laughs> And the crocodiles. And my I, crocodile. I, and my freaking crocodile. That that's my pillow. That is true. It's a pillow for Michael, so Michael just like gives some love for the babies. And the babies try to find him when he knows home. And I'm like, you know what? Take the pillow, smell like Michael. And shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Kiwi's actual house where she came from. And I didn't want to like kind of sort of freak her out in her new habitat. So I left her house inside of her new house, and uh, at night I cover up with that blanket. She usually goes back in. She'll be sleeping in the corner. I'll cover up so there's no wind, and she sleeps throughout the whole night. I come check on her periodically. I, I leave for the gym at like three o'clock in the morning, so I come out here and I peek on her, and she's sleep, and she's like, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, okay, baby, I'll leave you alone. And by the time I get back, like around seven o'clock, she is. Uh, she's flying so good. Yeah, she's doing so good out here. She has enough shade, not enough direct sunlight, but she has enough sunlight to come out and bask. So in the morning, she'll be on her little perch down there, just getting some sun and then she'll move and she'll be on the floor. And then as you see, she's working her way around the habitat. What do you think? Is she happy? She's sexy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is our baby Kiwi. And uh, this is our life. That concludes today's episode. Uh, I was gonna go dig a hole for the water buffaloes, but that'll be something we'll do in the morning. I got more stuff to do online for our website, the Wild Jungle. Got upload some photos. Look at Kiwi. She's jumping around. I'm happy. Hope you guys happy. Enjoy today's episode. It was a nice long one. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>